Good morning, year two. Uh, welcome back. We're on maths now. We are looking at a brand new um, topic uh, this week. We're going to be looking at describing movements um, and position and direction. Today, relatively simple, we're just going to be looking at describing basic movements. Um, so let's have a look and get started. Okay, so let's look at this ladybird. In which direction is the ladybird moving? So this relates to your lefts and rights. Uh, I know some of you aren't completely sure on them yet. Um, and if I'm, not, if I'm honest, even as a grown up, sometimes I do have to check my lefts and rights when I'm driving. Um, so which direction is the ladybird moving? The ladybird is moving left. Um, and what I always think of with this is making your hands and your left hand makes a letter L. So it might be something that could help you. Okay, so we've got here, we've got a bumblebee and a hedgehog. Which direction is each creature moving? So we're going to look at backwards and forwards now. Oh, it's a wasp, sorry, a wasp. So the wasp is moving forwards and your hedgehog is moving to the left. It's moving to the left, everybody, because of the way the hedgehog is facing. So just be careful uh, to not let that trip you up. If you think if your hedgehog is facing that way and he's moving that way, he's going to be moving to the left. Okay, dot, we've got a crab and a spider. Circle the creature which is moving to the left. So we've got the spider is obviously facing um, forwards and he's moving forwards. However, the crab um, is moving to the left because of the way he is positioned. All right, true or false? The bug to the right of the tur sorry, the bug is to the right of the turkey. So we're looking at the bug here. Is it to the right of the turkey? Yes, it is. So it's to the right of the turkey, because if we are looking this way, it is going to be on the right hand side. Right, a bit of reasoning now. Rhea thinks that if the turtle moves two squares to the left, it will find the grass. Is she correct? Explain how you know. Rhea is not correct because the turtle must move two squares forward. So the turtle is positioned, its head's facing this way, um, and it needs to move forward. If it's moving left, it's going to be going a different way. This is going to be similar to the work that you have today. So I write statements using forwards, backwards, left and right to describe how each creature can get to the leaves. So there's lots of different ways of saying this. So it could be, for example, given here, the ladybird moves two squares to the right and the bird moves two squares forward. So again, like before, the ladybird is facing this way and if it moves two squares to the right and the bird moves two squares forward. So if you think you put yourself in the ladybird's position, um, that's how it needs to get to its leaves. The treasure is buried two squares left of the ship. Where is the treasure buried? So if we think about this and we position ourselves as the ship, thinking about where the treasure is buried, it says it's buried two squares to the left of the ship. So you need to go up two squares to the left Obviously, if the ship was going forwards, it'd be going this way. If you're going backwards, it'd be going off the grid. So this is where the treasure is buried. Okay, doc. So um, learning today, we're going to be describing movements using left, right, backwards and forwards. Starting off quite simple together. Um, and you will have your questions on your learning from home sheet today. So try your best um, and make sure you're handing in your work on portfolio um, before three o'clock if you can. Okie doc. Thanks everybody.